Some local police officers are getting some new training to help with crisis situations like active shooters and domestic violence. ABC6 News reporter Alex Cotter was in Mason City today where police trained on a new simulator at North Iowa Area Community College. He has more on how this simulator could make Mason City safer. For the past two days, Mason City Police have been training on a virtual reality simulator that allows them to experience real-life de-escalation and crisis situations. Get down. Get down on your knees. Mason City Police Chief Jeff Brinkley says partnering with NIAC for the virtual reality training is going to benefit officers and the people they are helping. Yeah, being able to reinforce you know, training scenarios in this kind of environment where the, the computer operator controls the the reaction by the role player is really important for us in terms of, you know, emphasizing the things that we're training now in terms of de-escalation and, you know, right response and bystander intervention and some of those kinds of things. So, yeah, this is a great tool to have in our own backyard. Here's how it works. This simulator is controlled by someone running the computer. They will determine how the real-life situation plays out based on the officer's response. Good, come on. The guns they use are fake, but they sync up with the system to simulate their shot. And it's, I think it helps us build the ability to respond when we're seeing real people and, and humans in those roles instead of paper targets. It's, there, there's more dynamics there than you might think in the training environment. Elise DeVries is a program developer at NIAC. She says the college is thankful for its partnership with the Mason City Police. And they're an integrated part of the community in North Iowa. And this is just one more step to be able to work with them. NIAC received a grant from the Vera Foundation. The simulator costs about $25,000, and the remaining grant dollars will be used for scholarships. So we're just learning now kind of all of the possibilities of the simulator. So we'll be able to do a lot with continuing education, a lot of training um, throughout the community, but then also we have programs here on site too that we'll be able to do with students. So I, I hope that's the message our community gets from this is they understand that we're committed to cutting edge training, best practice, and, and the latest thing that we need to do to help keep our community safe and make sure our officers are going to be safe as well. Chief Brinkley says he and his officers plan to come out here whenever they can to use a simulator and get some extra training. In Mason City, Alex Cotter, ABC6 News.